In this session, we're going to take a look at how to associate WordPress users with Paid Memberships Pro's membership levels. Here are our membership levels. We have a free one and one for $10 per month. On the left here, there's a members list. And here you can see we have no members at all. And you can't even add them from here. That's because Paid Memberships Pro works directly with WordPress users, not with its own users. Right now, the only user on the system is me, so let's create some, and you can see how I can associate them. So we have Alice. We'll give her a password. and we'll leave her set to be a subscriber. There, now she is just a plain user, but you can see over here there's none for membership level. Let's create one more and then we'll work with both of them at the same time. So let's make Bob. Give Bob a password and we will also leave him as a subscriber. There, we have two new users, no membership levels. So now let's edit Alice. Down here at the bottom is membership level. And we could choose free. Then we can choose whether or not this access will expire. Then we can also choose to send the user an email about this change, which I won't because I gave Alice a fake email address. And we can choose to cancel this user's subscription at the gateway. We don't want to cancel this user's subscription, so we will update user. There. Now Alice is in the free group. If we go back to the users page, you can see her membership level is free. Now let's set Bob to $10 per month. Let's leave everything the same. Click Update User. There. Now Bob is in the $10 per month group. And just like that, we can create users and manage their membership levels. Now let's try logging in as Alice and Bob and see what we get. But first, we need to make some content. Let's get rid of Hello World and we'll create a free post. And then we will put it in the category of members and uncategorized. And then here we can require a certain membership. I'm going to require only free. So now let's publish. Now let's view this post. It says right here this content is for 10MO and free members only. Now what we just learned is that 10MO is actually a bad name. So let's go back and change it. There. And now we can see this content is for $10 per month and free members only. And I can choose to register, which I'm not going to do right now. However, I'm going to open an incognito tab here in Chrome. We'll go to our page. And now we have a login option. We did not before because I was actually logged in. I simply didn't have the right permissions. So I'll click login and we'll log in as Alice. And now it takes us to our profile page where we actually want to 
go back to this page and now you can see this is a free post. Now if we edit this a little bit more and update we'll view and you can see that while I am logged in here as Topher it still says that I have to log in. But over here I can see my hidden text. Now let's log out as Alice and you can see that the text goes away. Let's try logging in as Bob. And now we get to see it. So now let's log Bob out. Now you'll note that when we logged in it did not bring us right back to this page there are other plugins that allow you to decide what happens after login and they're not related to paid membership pro they just happen to work on your login we can take a look at one of those in another series so to review we have two membership levels free and ten dollars per month and then we created users and here you can see all users, but if we go back over here to memberships and we can go to members list and we can see them here. We can see that neither of them have a fee because I as the administrator gave them both access. You can edit someone, which basically simply takes you to the users page to edit them. And you can see their billing address and their membership information. Here at the top, you can export to CSV. So if you have a list of several hundred users, you could export to CSV and then use that to pull it into a mailing program or something and send snail mail to every one of them. In our next video, we'll, we'll take a look at what it's like to register a new user on the front end and how that relates to orders.